retro heads and welcome to the Ascentes Modular Exoskeleton. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for flying cars and hover trousers, but 2025 is the year that we get bionic legs. What we have here, according to the website, is a lightweight, affordable, portable solution for everything from daily commuting strolls all the way up to ambitious adventures. And it is an ambitious piece of kit. It's an extraordinary concept. No wonder that the Kickstarter campaign absolutely exploded in popularity, clearing its goal by over 2,000%. And now the product is finally here, so it's time to answer the big question. Does it work? So what we have here is a system of three parts. First and most importantly, we have the belt. Battery pack on the back, lovely memory foam cushion for comfort, and a nice simple control unit with a on button and three control buttons on the top. Fun thing about this, it's removable. So if you're lefty like me, you can move it over to the left side for convenience. Then you've got your hip assist. So these clip onto the belt, that straps around your leg. Huh? Huh? Like that. Motor goes like that. Gives you a bit more explosive power when walking. It makes walking easier, enables you to walk or run or cycle further. But then there's also a knee attachment. Same deal, clips onto the belt, connects via the cable. And this is more about stability and taking the load off, basically reducing your perceived weight on your knee joints. First thing I'd say is that the sense of quality is a million miles beyond anything I was expecting. This belt is made of a titanium alloy. It's cool to the touch, yet lightweight, yet sturdy. It's got a really satisfying magnetic clip system, which just feels really solid and really satisfying actually. The battery pack is 77 watt hours, super compact, super lightweight. And I just love the simplicity of it. Three buttons, that's it. There's an app too, but you can do everything you need with this. So on, three modes, one, two, three, and then each one has five strengths. All done with lights, super straightforward. Same with these, the sense of quality is extraordinary. We've got carbon fiber composite, more titanium, and then these lovely uh, braided Kevlar cables. Really, really sturdy. This is what connects everything together. Perhaps most impressive is just how easily it all clips on and, and clips together. I thought it'd be a faff to put on, but no. Clip it on, round the leg, onto there. Easy, but does it work? Right then, here we go, we're out and about in the Ascentis. I feel a bit inconspicuous, but other than that, really excited about this. We're in Ease, that's the first mode. It's the one that does the thing that you would most expect these to do, which is just make everything a bit easier. We'll get onto the two other slightly fruitier modes a bit later on, but let's start with this. We're in Ease, sort of middle, <laughs> middle resistance. My goodness, this is very strange. Let me just try and articulate what I'm experiencing right now. This is a new feeling for me. What these motors are doing is just helping me pick my legs up. You know, the, the hardest bit of the stride, that first bit, that bit. The motor's just adding a little bit of push to it, reducing the amount of effort I have to do to pick my leg up for each stride. And the thing I'm immediately noticing is how smooth it is, how in sync it is with my inputs. Back to e-bikes, I think a good e-bike lives or dies on the smoothness of the assist. I don't care how powerful the motor is. If it's jerky, if it feels like it's kind of fighting against you all the time, no bueno. And the strange thing about these is how quickly they figure out what you're doing. So just then I stopped walking and you felt them go, are we, oh, we're stopping, okay. You felt them kind of go for that next extra stride, then realize I'd stopped and stop with me. So now I start walking again. And there we are, straight back into my stride, straight back into the assist. You can feel them going, oh, we're off, okay. Here's some assistance. So Ascentes reckons that these things respond within 20 microseconds, that's 20, millionths of a second. That's how quickly they detect your inputs and figure out how best to assist. Perhaps even more impressive is how quickly they realize that you've gone from, for example, walking into running. Because if you think about an e-bike, it's only one input. You're just 
a flying torque through a you know, rotating mechanism. So it's quite straightforward. Oh, they got a bit confused there, but now they figured it out. There we go. But of course, when it comes to human legs, it's more than just one rotational input. We can walk, we can run, we can go upstairs, downstairs, uphill, downhill, cycling. These are all different movements. And the Ascentes uses a combination of sensors in order to detect what I'm doing. Am I walking, am I running, am I going upstairs? And how best it might help me. So right here, I'm walking downhill and I can feel them now actually slowing my legs down instead of helping me pick them up. It's slowing my movements to stop me kind of falling down the hill as you kind of would if you just let gravity take over. Over 10 different movement patterns they can recognize. Walking, running, cycling, uphill, downhill, upstairs, downstairs, etc. And they claim that these bad boys can detect when I swap from running to walking, walking to walking upstairs within two tenths of a second with a 95% accuracy rate. It's extraordinary. Where is all this computing power in this tiny device? Bet they're wishing they had bionic legs right about now. All right, some initial impressions from that. Wow. Initially it's bizarre because I've never experienced anything quite like it and then you get used to it and then you sort of forget and that's the highest praise of any kind of electronic assist when you stop realising it's there because it's so in sync with what you're doing and it's not perfect you can feel it get it wrong every now and then but the speed at which it corrects itself when it gets it wrong is equally impressive. I think what's immediately clear to me and this should have been obvious from the start is these are not going to turn you into Iron Man it's not about being able to leap over tall buildings and smash your 100 meter personal best by half. It's less about giving you more power and it's more about reducing effort. I'm impressed. Let's try some of the funkier modes. Mode number two is ACC, Automatic Cruise Control. If ease is about assisting you on your way, just giving a helping hand, ACC does more. The idea is that it basically clocks onto what you're doing and then sort of takes over. Cruise control. Okay, so right away, it's just a lot more involved. It is literally picking my legs up for me, making me go up this hill. It's, uh, I'm going to extend this so you can see. It's, it's a slightly kind of funny walk. It's a bit like a kind of soldier's march, but it is doing it for me. Okay, what if I break into a run? Can it understand the difference? Mm. Okay, not so much. This is a very steep hill in fairness, and I'm a heavy man. This is probably maxing out the capabilities of the motors. But if we go back into a walk, wow. There it is. Oh, I've just changed modes by accident into resistance mode. We'll get to that. There we go. One step, one step, and it understands. These legs are walking me right now, and if you're afraid, that you might end up sort of walking into the distance. All you have to do is stop, push against the resistance. It'll try and take you that next step. And as soon as it feels you fighting back, it goes, oh, okay, we'll stop here. ACC. Now it's worth noting that this is gonna absolutely burn through the battery. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna turn it off and go back to ease mode for the time being. Worth noting, of course, that battery is fairly small in the name of lightness and portability. You can fit a second battery pack, and in fact, they offer a sort of ultra version of this kit, which comes as standard with two batteries. With that being the case, you get allegedly up to 25 miles of range. Now, given that I've only got the one battery and I weigh down near 100 kilos, I'm expecting substantially less than that today. And just while I'm rattling off numbers, 36 Newton meters, that's peak torque that these motors can dish out. And 35% is the extent to which they can allegedly reduce the effort. Oh, big staircase ahead. I don't much fancy it. ACC, turn it up a few. I'm doing nothing. Two steps and like, yep. Bigger strides needed. Knees higher, we're going upstairs. Mad. What I will say for 
ACC mode and actually just the higher assist settings is the more you turn up the assist, the more you can tell the subtle differences between what the Ascentes is doing and what you want it to do. And again, it works great. It's fast, it's responsive. When it makes a mistake, it realizes quickly and correct, but it does make little mistakes. And I think these are best for me in ease mode on a medium assist setting. That way it feels buttery smooth. And also you're just gonna get more out of your battery. But nice to know that if you're on a nice long walk and there's a really nasty hill and you don't fancy it, you can just beep, 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 plonk it into a higher assist setting. Up you go, get to the top, turn it down. Now, that brings us to the third and final mode. One more press of the button and this light goes green. And now I'm in resistance mode. And what that means is the legs are actually fighting against me. So I'm having to work harder than normal for every step. They're literally pushing against me. It's like walking through treacle. So if, for example, you wanted to do some weighted squats in the park, but didn't feel like carrying your dumbbells. Oh, let's turn it right up. Up to 20 kilos of weight these can add in resistance. Yeah, I can feel it. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll get a burn on quickly. Woo. Just think, between those three modes, what a powerful tool these could be for rehabilitation. Let's say you've had some sort of accident, which means you've lost a lot of strength in your legs and walking has become difficult. Well, starting off with ease mode and ACC on the higher assist, you get back to being comfortable walking. You start to turn the assist down as you get more and more confident, get more of your strength back. And then when you really want to add strength, stick it into training mode and do a few, do a few hill sprints. Have legs like Jack Grealish in no time. He's a footballer. Time to put my knees on. Now, a few words on price while I'm getting changed. The entry price for the Ascentes, and that's the kit that comes just with these hips, no knee accessories is 600 US dollars, which is what, 540 quid? For the hips and the knees is $1,000. Bit of a shame that you can't use the hips and the knees at the same time. Ascenti says that is something they're looking into. And actually the thing about this whole kit is it's open source. They are encouraging people actively to kind of design and fabricate their own accessories, which can clip into the belt. How long before someone does an entire kind of Fallout style Steel Knight mech suit? Not long, I would say. Okay, knee assist. Ooh, different sort of sensation. Immediately you can tell these are offering something else. They're not helping me walk. You mostly walk by driving with your big leg muscles, your bum and your thighs. And this is a different sort of thing. It's about reducing load and strain on what's probably the worst designed part of our bodies, our knees. So now these aren't pushing me forward. They're just lightening the load. The impact that I'm feeling on my joints with every step is less. It's kind of like being in reduced gravity. It is quite strange. This feels like a more specialized piece of equipment. I think the hip accessory has a multitude of uses. It really could just be for someone who loves hiking but doesn't have the fitness levels to go for as long as they'd like. Whereas this feels like something specifically for people with knee problems, which is admittedly a huge proportion of people. What I will say is that the thing that was true of the hip accessory, that they work best in ease mode on a kind of middling assist setting, doubly true of these. Put it in ease on a medium setting and it's just damping. It's just taking some of that weight out of every step and reducing the amount of stress on my fragile little knees. I have to say, I didn't really know what to expect. I was pretty cynical. Generally speaking, when a new technology comes along, it sucks at first. And the most surprising thing about these is just how dialed they are, how well executed it is, both in terms of the responsiveness and intelligence of the software, but also in terms of just the quality of the product, how beautifully it's built. Are we all gonna be trading our e-bikes and e-skateboards in for e-legs anytime soon? I don't know. I think that it's pretty clear who the first movers will be on this technology. And it's people who 
have difficulty walking, people who struggle to do the stuff that most of us take for granted. And actually, I want to read you something that I saw on the Kickstarter page for these that really moved me. This is a message from someone who has signed up to buy a pair of these, one of the early investors. And they said, I'm super excited about this project. After a car accident, I've had the hardest time going for walks with my dogs and coming back in incredible pain and fatigue. If this compensates for my pain enough without causing extra pain, it would change my quality of life in such a huge way. Very, very excited. At its best, this is what micro-mobility does. It enables people. It enables people to go further and do more and experience life more fully. Walking, we take it for granted. Not everyone can do it so well, but I genuinely believe in this technology. I genuinely believe that people like that investor on Kickstarter, who due to a car accident, struggles to walk her dogs like she used to, is going to immensely benefit from this technology. And that is a beautiful thing. There's still some wrinkles to be ironed out. The technology is far from perfect. The hardware is really good, but there's some improvements. But is this a novelty item? Absolutely not. This is the real deal. And I'm excited to start seeing these in public more and more in the coming weeks and months. So there we go, people, the Ascentes, they're real, they're here to stay. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Do comment below, let me know what you think of these. Would you be interested in a pair? Do make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.